Hi Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for May 2021. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibrational community. All right, I hope you click subscribe and become a part if you're new. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for you for this month. Three cards for career finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. Okay, career and finances. Okay, that's a lot, but I love that you were showing up. So the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, talk about money, honey. Talk about being grounded, being rooted, being determined. The goat shows up here and the bunny. Lock, determination, deep roots, foundation. The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Wow, okay. You're finally having a wish come true. A wish comes true for you, Leo. And I think that, wow, and you're showing up here in the Strength card. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I think a wish comes true for you. Oh my gosh, and the Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. Um, and the Tower. Yeah, you are like, this is, I'm not getting any bad vibes at all from this. That's, I didn't ask for those. Can you show me uh, three love and career, please? Uh, the Magician, or love and romance, sorry. The Four of Swords. Oh my God, why are these all come? No, I don't want any of these. They're saying just read them to you, okay. The King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Because I'm not getting bad vibes from this tower. I feel like, yeah, the Empress, yeah, for sure. Okay, wow. I don't know why you needed to hear that about this other stuff. Um, the lovers and the world. Yeah, okay. So I see now why. Uh, let's get the romance card. So some of you actually may have a decision in your love life, Leo, this month, um, where you're deciding whether to stay or go in a situation. You're deciding if the cycle is completed. For others of you, the cycle has most definitely completed with that tower card. But I'm not feeling bad things from this tower card. There's a lot of freaking powerful feminine energy in this reading. The queen of pentacles, strength, the queen of wands, the empress, the magician, all feminine cards here. Um, th this to me is like... Listen, whether you're masculine or feminine, whatever your feminine energy is in your life right now, it's bumping, it's popping, it's getting, giving you a lot of success. Yeah, playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, I am feeling this energy, whoever I'm reading for, from for is very single, okay? I'm not feeling like this is somebody in a relationship uh, from the love perspective, okay? The career finances and the general energy may resonate with you, but this is for my single Leo okay listen and it's majority feminine too so if you're masculine i respect that you know take what resonates leave what doesn't be leave what doesn't behind but what i am going to say to you um is girl you are on fire wow can we be friends holy shit not for anything other than you got such fucking badass energy okay you are a woman on a mission you are determined you are focus you are grounded you are rooted you are confident you are courageous you are strong you are abundant you are a master manifester and you are you, like what is no what is no you're like get no get in spanish means what what no what what you're like no 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 it doesn't exist we're gonna say yes to me please and anything that you want you're bringing into your life you are literally yeah okay so so some of you here's what i'm gonna say let me do this love reading first okay because it's it's coming through, so some of you need to hear this. Some of you are like, yes, I'm a badass. Yes, I'm strong. Yes, I'm all these things. But what about love? Okay, so some of you know this, okay? You know that something's happened in your love life. You know that there's a cycle that's come to completion. Something here in your love life, Leo, was... I had to come down. It was inevitable. And it's unfortunate and it's shitty and it's sad and it's got you in the feels potentially in times and moments, but it was the universe trying to restore some balance into your life because if this continued on, yeah, look, the three of wands and the seven of wands, it would have continued to have been problematic. For some of you, it could have been with a water sign and for others of you, an air sign. So water is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and air is Leo, Gemini, or Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Because the forgiveness card is here. Why did I put what? Why did I put that back? Because the forgiveness card is here. Um, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. <sighs> I 
Oops. I think what's happening here is actually something very magnificent. And I think that you're in this powerhouse energy where you are unstoppable, Leo, and your life will never be the same after this. And so naturally what happens, Leo, when we are going through these huge transformations, these huge shifts, is that not everybody can come on the, on the journey with us. And that's shit right? Because we want our friends to come or we want our love interests to come or we want these people to come with us, but not everyone vibrates at the same frequency as you expand, as you journey through your experience of enlightenment. The Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, okay? When these three cards come together in career and finances, basically, baby, whatever you want financially is yours. Girl, you are going to be on top of the world. Money is, what is, what is, what is it? Money is, money is simply a thing that comes to you so fluidly, right? I don't know if you watch TikTok, but tick, there's a, a, um, a chant that somebody put together and it goes something like, ching, ching, ching goes the money tree. And every time it rings, money comes to me. Okay, and, and that's your song, that's your motto, that's your mantra. Because the Empress here, okay, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles here with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups tells me that you're so solid, so rooted, so grounded, so abundant, and so um, responsible that you are going after absolutely everything that is emotionally fulfilling and wishes and dreams are coming true in your career and your finances. I think beyond your wildest dreams, like I don't even think you can envision this to be honest with you. I think this is beyond your wildest dreams. You never even thought that you would be capable of getting to this point in your life, but because you are so damn determined and, and structured and, and disciplined in this feminine energy of nurturing, of creation, of abundance. It's just, it's, it's your magnet. You're a magnet for money. Strength, the queen of wands, and the tower. So what happens as we evolve? Shit that doesn't fit has got to go. And it sucks, right? Like it sucks, like I said, saying bye to friends, you know? And look, for some of you, you got the seventh house. Oh, some of you, it's a relationship for sure that's going. The seventh house is Leo and Venus. This is a house of partnerships. Here's where we see the personal relationships that involve commitment or cooperation of some sort, marriage, spiritual union, agreement, societies, and business partnerships. So for some of you, for sure, your career and your finances are evolving. Others of you, a relationship is coming to, to ground, but it's coming to completion because, because girl, I think you were dating like knights and pages and you're a fucking empress, you know? And empress vibes can only hang out with emperor vibes. You get what I'm saying? This strength and queen of wands, I mean, I mean, you know, talk about being in your power. Yeah, I don't think anybody can mess with you. I don't, I don't even think anybody's going to try and mess with you. I think people are going to be looking up to you. I think people are going to be applauding you. I think people are going to be cheering you on. I think people are going to be celebrating you. I think people are just going to be like, oh my God, Leo, look at you. We're going to be giving you a round of applauses and high fives and all the things, okay? Because it's so good here. It's so good. The Magician, the Four of Swords, and the Empress. When it comes to your love life, here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? Especially if you're um, one of the people that the relationship ending resonates with. Girl, man, whatevers, okay? You are capable of manifesting exactly what you desire into your life. And you know that right? You know damn well what you are capable and able of attracting into your love life. And here's the thing. By knowing this, what you can attract into your love life, you can then surrender to the idea, right? A master manifester, someone who can manifest absolutely anything they desire into their love life. That's you. All right. With the four of swords, this isn't a time right now to be really focused on love other than self-love, self-care. Okay. Why? Because this, I feel like is a lot of stuff going on, whether it's a breakup or you have like leveling up in career and finances, there's a lot of stuff happening. So while yes, be playful to be recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Also rest. Okay. Have a little bit of fun, rest, have a little bit of fun, rest, 
take care of you first because when you start taking care of yourself leo and you start focusing on the leo energy right of taking care of yourself looking good feeling good doing your hair did nails did everything did a new workout regimen okay whatever that looks like for you leo what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be vibrating at a frequency that is so powerful a frequency of such good energy okay a frequency of you being so regal like you're just i don't know man like i feel like if i were to see you leo i'd be like oh hell leo <laughs> like i would just be like wow girl like you're impressive or dude whatever you are right like this is impressive energy i do have to tell you though that you gotta take care of you okay in your love and and romance this month it's about you doing you okay healing taking care of your heart doing things for yourself but you doing you is your vibe and in doing yourself taking care of you and your own energy what will you do you're gonna end up attracting love anyways because i'm gonna tell you there's gonna be a lot of people looking at you there's gonna be a lot of suitors there's gonna be a lot of people going hello leo will you will you allow me to take you on a date and you're gonna be like mm, yes or mm, no, but the choice is up to you, Leo. All right, Leo, if you're interested in booking a private reading live one hour with me, take a look at the description box below. If you want to shop over at Starcy, my jewelry line, go pick up your modern day amulet. I hand make all the pieces. They're crystal jewelry, and there's a ton of new stuff that's coming out. There's going to be gold, real gold. And I know you like gold, Leo. All right, thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.